Hi there, Bruce Loxton from Safari here and we're here today to have a look at alarm monitoring and remote alarm monitoring in the Cymarine system. Um, I'm going to pull up the smartphone here with it and uh, as you may already know the smartphone is replicating what's on the display here and in this display here I have uh, these two items here uh, hooked up to it and simulated it behind and just attached with, uh, with a very small battery here for the purpose of the demonstration. And as we look at the alarms here, I just quickly go through the display so you can see I've got a starter battery uh, hooked up here as well. I've got uh, three tanks, I've got a temperature and then I've got a in climater, which is this gadget here which um, we won't do an alarm on it. You can see it's going up and down. We go back, the alarm system we're actually going to uh, run on is going to be on the tanks, but before uh, we do that, let's just have a look at the battery display. And what's pretty clever here in terms of the alarm uh, monitoring is that you'll see here on the display, it's got here eight days and six hours uh, left with the arrow going down. That's called the time to go. And there's also the state of charge at 82%. And on the home screen here, it doesn't actually give you the voltage. Um, it really gives you time to go and state of charge. They really are the two key things um, that you need to know. Therefore, it makes sense to have alarms based on time to go and state of charge. And if I go into settings here, so I hit settings here on the smartphone, it's the way to program it. And I go and look at the alarms. And here we have state of charge, AGM house. And currently I've got it here, alarm value at 31%. And to simply change that, I just touch that, slide my finger up and down. I can set the alarm point on it, and then I can just turn that on. So when it gets to 40% on state of charge, then I'll get an alarm. Um, I can set the output to go to a relay here, and uh, that relay can be connected to, to uh, some other device if you wish. So we've got state of charge low, and then we've got time to discharge, time to go. So we could say, right, well, we want to we want to have an alert when there's only four hours left um, on the battery. So I put in uh, four, I turn it on, and at four hours left to go, um, then the system will alarm and also can close a relay output as well. Um, and then finally, on the battery, we do have the traditional voltage where we can put a, a voltage value in here and uh, set that 12.5, um, let's say. And uh, when that voltage appears, then the alarm will uh, sound off. Now there's an alarm delay here, and there it is, 12.5 volts. I'm getting an alarm. So as I do that, because the voltage is less than that, I'm acknowledging it. And on my notification here on the phone at the top came um, the alarm message. And on the phone display here, that alarm message, and I just go back into it again, that alarm message out of the settings display, that alarm message appears um, on the last page. There it is. Time to discharge low on the screen, and that will stay on the smartphone. Now let's have a look at the tanks. So I'm going to simulate a low tank here by turning on a, um, a little heater mat here, which um, is going to increase the temperature which I've got simulated here in this fresh water tank and this fresh water tank is going to start to drop down in value. Now while we're waiting for that, when it drops down in value we're going to get an alarm on the screen. It's then going to send a text message to my phone. So if I'm in a remote location to say that um, something's happened to my fuel tank or my water tank and I've lost it all. Um, and it does that to the phone and it's linked to this Cymarine system. So you can see the water tank now starting to drop. And then from the phone here, I can see the location of where the system is. And I can also put a geofence on it, which I'm going to show you, and a geofence alarm. So we're going to have the tank level coming down into alarm. We're then going to have the notification of the phone. And then we're going to check the location and do a geofence alarm to show you how that is set up. Um, all from the smartphone. So let's just wait now for this to drop. Dreams come true. All you gotta do is ask. Now we've got the alarm here that you can see the freshwater alarm has come up. And let's have a look at our alarms on here. So we've got two alarms on here. One we've got the 
uh, alarm coming up on the Pico here to say that the fresh water alarm has occurred. And the second one that's coming up on here, I'm just out of my setup here, back into here again. Um, fresh water capacity low. And the other alarm that's appeared is on my remote unit. And on my re remote unit here, when it became active before the demonstration today, system is active. Fresh water alarm has been turned on. Let's now, let's now turn that off. And here it comes, fresh water alarm is turned off. Um, so the other thing I was going to show you here is the geofence alarm. So for the geofence alarm, um, I can set the alarm on. Um, let's just see what the battery health is at the moment. So I can send a message from my phone here remotely. I can be anywhere in the world. And this will come back to me and tell me what the actual uh, voltage is. So this is returned now to say that the current battery voltage is 12.4 volts, which is what we're looking at here. Uh, there we are, 12.3234 volts, and this is saying 12.4, the voltage has dropped down. And um, so we can measure the, and have an alarm on the battery voltage to come through to the phone. And we're now going to have a look at um, setting the geofence alarm. So I just hit my little code here, GPS alarm is on, and it will go and set a geofence within 25 meters of the location of where the system is located. So here it is, it's now telling me that it's set. So let's just see if we tap this to preview it, then up will pop a, a map, and that's uh, exactly where I am at the moment. And that geofence alarm is set at um, 25 meters around that uh, location. If I want to change my battery alarm, and I'm going to change the voltage here now to 12.4 volts on my alarm. Um, so it's going to change the battery alarm to that level. And I'm going to check what my signal strength is. I'm going to send two commands at once. So I'm going to just check to see what, uh, what I'm getting on my uh, signal strength here. So the low voltage alarm has been set to 12.4 volts and the alarm has been reset. So I've now reset that. Now he's come back and told me my signal strength is 61%. That's very good. And um, what other commands? And if I want to just check my GPS location again, I just hit this small command here. So I've got a small uh, pop-up keypad here to um, send off the important uh, messages to the system. And back comes the location again, and we just tap that, and it'll give us the location on the Google map. Um, if I want to turn the geofence alarm off, I hit the geofence alarm off, and it'll come back and confirm that uh, the alarm has now been turned off. So on this system here, every time I make a request, it confirms to me the GPS home alarm has been turned off. So it confirms to me all the time that I know that um, uh, that the system is working. So that's a quick summary of the alarm system. Alarm systems in the Pico on the display, the tanks. Alarm systems when you're on board with your phone. And then alarm systems remotely where you're some distance away from the boat or the caravan. Um, it can give you these alarms. It can also give you an intruder alarm. And I'll just simulate that now. Now I've just turned a switch on behind to simulate an intruder alarm and uh, turn that on, it's on a different channel there. Intruder alarm has been turned on. And so um, I can reset that intruder alarm from here as well. If it was a false alarm, I can reset it. And um, that's a quick summary of the alarm features of the system. Thank you. Most guys advertise